Hi guys! The last couple weeks we've been talking about New Year's res resolutions, um, particularly like them, but if you're into them that's cool. It's just people seem to set unrealistic expectations for New Year's resolutions and as a result not meeting their goals. Instead we are incorporating habit tracking. We are screen sharing again. I'm gonna review last week. Last week went really well. I'm feeling much better. I didn't do too many self-improvement podcasts. I had a weekend trip away. Realistically I was cleaning and packing and kind of getting things ready and then I also had other commitments that I had to take care of. I listened to the Married Advice podcast which Sonia recommended and I really enjoyed that one. I even took some notes. I'll show you here. Um, I'll I'll link the, the podcast if you feel like listening to it. It's the Relationship Podcast with Chase and Sarah. I listened to episode 370 and it's called learn to communicate lovingly with your partner there was a couple different points that i took away from it i didn't write down like every single point that we're making just what resonated with me so definitely take a listen to that podcast it had some interesting questions that you could ask your partner which i thought were pretty cool and we're gonna try to implement that a point that they made was um, to try to ask your partner if they have um, the space or mental capacity for you in the moment to vent or to have those relationship conversations instead of just assuming like, you can just like emotionally dump on them, which I don't think we do too much, but I just thought it was like a, a good reminder. Also to try not to talk when triggered or try not to like talk it out when you're triggered. Try not to say you always or they never, those types of statements. Instead, try to say when you said this, I felt blank. It was kind of fun to actually use the notes part because I have yet to do that for non-poll related things. Let's see what else did I do? I did a little bit of coloring. I'll show you that real quick. That's another part that I like about this tracker is if I want to sit down and have like a little coloring session to kind of uh, have some quiet time, which I don't do often. This as well as, as I'm going through the tracker part, that also fulfills my little need to color and calm my brain because I can make these little doodles or as you've seen in the pole fitness tracker part. So that kind of fulfills my little need to color in like less time. So it forces me to kind of quiet my brain at least for a few moments as I'm tracking. So I like to do that also in the weekly habit tracker part. My points of contact did super duper awesome this week. Had a baby shower in Michigan. Got to see a bunch of family, play some games. We went bowling. That was fun. And then Sunday did some more visiting. Headed back home. Did a little bit of studying for my anatomy and physiology on Tuesday. And I studied pole cues on Friday. And then I did a couple more stickers here for training for certs. I tried to get more most of my training done earlier in the week because I knew I'd be busy later in the week. But a few more stickers there. I'll zoom in to see if you can see them. It didn't show up all that well in my last video. It was a little grainy. But we'll just work on getting better. This little guy face man and this determined bear. So those are stickers from Etsy shop. They come in a sheet. I'll actually show you because I still have to fill out for this week. I kind of got that prepped and ready. So how you use the sticker sheets is once you purchase it from Etsy, Etsy automatically sends it to you as a digital download and you can, I believe this is a, like a PNG, like a picture. So all I do in this case, it's a sticker sheet. Oh, it didn't load all the way, but that's okay. For this example, it'll be fine. You'll get the point. Let's see, which one haven't we done? Let's do this other little space guy. So all you do is crop it, get the size. I think I actually grabbed the wrong file. I think that's why it's not transparent, but I'll track as I go. You know what? No, let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. The app that I'm using, I don't know what trans to like Apple and non-Apple related products. I have Apple. I'm using GoodNotes, but I have tried it in a couple other note-taking devices and it seems to work fairly similarly. My points of contact, I hung out with Miss Brittany and her kiddo today. I'm gonna put some heart here. We had our women's self-care meeting. We usually do that every Monday if we can. Um, I did listen to a marriage podcast today while I was walking the doggos. I need a different color, sorry. It's gotta be pretty. Um, and I'll probably listen to a self-care podcast a little later. We'll see, maybe some training. Oh, it's not Tuesday. What am I doing? I did a lot today since we were heading back home from Michigan yesterday. Usually I food prep on Sundays and get stuff ready for the week, but that was mostly today. Breakfast burritos. But yeah, that's set up for next week. What else do I have for you guys? Oh, a little hack. So usually as you're setting up this tracker, you'd be going through your goals. Like I'll show you. I'm working on getting some more certifications. Let's cross off the uh, CPR one because I got that one done. That one's done. You can go through this if you're not really sure what goals or habits you want to work 
work on, but if you already know what you want to work on, skip these first couple of tasks and head right to the habit tracker. So you'd put your weekly habit in that column and you can get to work on there. So right now I primarily work on the habit tracker sheet as well as the pole fitness tracker part. Those are the two main pages that I work on and then I will bounce back and check on my progress on the like the goal setting page. So I'll go back and check maybe, you know, maybe once a month I'll, I'll review it. These questions are, are more intuitive now. I don't have to do it every time. I used to kind of go back and check every week, which is a good idea to do. I don't feel like I, I need to do that right now unless I'm setting new goals. So that's the little hack. You can just skip to the weekly habit tracker as well as the pole fitness tracker. I think that's it. I mean like pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy, pretty standard. I try to go with the flow, not be too hard on myself. And the goal isn't to be perfect. It's to try and experiment really. So if something's not working in your habit tracking, you have good opportunities the next week to make those changes. So there's nothing saying like you have to commit to that if it's not working. Like why would you commit to something that's not working? Yeah, quick update for you guys. I'll probably edit this episode down like the last, I did two of them. I edited it down, able to get it um, under 10 minutes. So try to save you guys some time on that. But I wanna know what your habits and goals are, pole and, and non-pole related habits and goals. I'm trying to think, did I get any new messages? There was the food prep and like restorative goals. I think I told you that in the last video. I don't think I got any, any new ones, but I wanna hear them. Keep me posted. All right. Thanks guys. Have a great Monday. Enjoy your practice. Mwah.